Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And I'm still new to 3D printing, so I didn't quite understand the different ways to print supports, so I printed out a simple, cute object to show all of you and to show myself the difference between supports. We're not using supports. Um, the 3D printer machine I have is the Snapmaker 2.0. It's a three-in-one, but so far I'm still on the 3D printing. So this is what the skull looks like. It's a skull planter. And I got the pattern off of Thingiverse, Thingiverse, Thingiverse.com. Um, I'll put the link to the free pattern below along with the information uh, crediting who made it. So this is the skull without using supports. It didn't come out too bad and it is quicker to print than printing supports. But some of the inside is not quite sharp. I believe I printed this upside down, not using supports. So some of the filament that didn't have supports just kind of So next I have this one that I printed with supports, not upside down, just regular wise. And the bottom got kind of warped, the supports on the bottom. And I am gonna tear these out, so I don't think it'll note it, uh, make a difference. But look at his mouth. It's also kind of warped compared to the other one. And I did print these all on the same heat temperature bed, but it was possibly kind of high for this filament. Because I was having a hard time getting the filament to stick, I have been printing at a higher temperature. The bed, I've been having it at 65 or 70. I believe this these were at 70, so it might have been too hot because it obviously warped on the bottom that was on the bed the entire time. And then his jaw kind of But because it's a skull, I'm kind of okay with it and kind of like it that it's a little different from the other one. And I'm gonna tear these supports out so we can see what it looks like after. And this one I printed upside down. So full support still, but printing them upside down versus right side up. And this one, being on the same print bed, did not warp a ton. I'm 98% sure this was still the same spool of black. However, and check out how different these are, even though they're both on the same bed temperature. Um, I may have started this one with the filament up in a dryer being strung down, so maybe the pooling on it was more stress than it could take. Because it even kind of looks like it's not printed quite as well, like the supports are more choppy on this one than they look on this one. So let me tear out these supports and see what we have. So the supports Oh, I should have brought some pliers. Again, I'm still new to 3D printing, but I found that pliers help out a lot generally when pulling out the supports. I'm gonna go get some pliers to help break down these supports. I'll be right back. So the quick tools we have handy without me having to bug anyone are a pair of dikes and these here. So these are the th largest amount of supports I've had to print on anything yet. Like most dense. Normally it's just like something smaller. So I do have to say already, the one that was printed upside down, I think that's gonna be a lot easier to pull these supports because I know I can just smash them. Whereas this one, I can't really just dig into because I don't know what is still going to be needed. Oh yeah, this this one that got printed upside down. Look, the support's already just popping right out. That was just the inside, but it came out way quicker so we can see the inside that had supports versus the inside that didn't. 
So really, it's just spending a little more time and a little more filament to print the supports. But you'll have a lot less cleanup and trying to make that nice. This one's already just nicer. So this one I was able to just grab on and twist. And the eye supports came out pretty easily. They're still a little ugly in the eye, but meh. Let's see what the non-support looked like. It's cuter in the eye. So I'm gonna try to rip this other one out and see if it comes out as easily. Not quite, but I am using dikes instead of pliers. So it didn't come out quite as nice in the eye socket either. I already broke part of this one trying to get the supports off just because I couldn't tell where they were. Already, if you're going to print this file out with supports, do it upside down. Because the right way was, because the right side up was just way too much hassle. Also, remember to wear glasses because these supports are kind of flying about everywhere. So that was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So when I started this project, I thought they were all gonna pretty much come out as the same outcome, but they are, well, not vastly different, quite different. So this is the one that I, <laughs> So this is the one that I printed with supports face down, just regular side. He got warped from all of the heat at the end, and I think maybe because of the warping, it did make the supports a lot harder to take off. Also because of the placement of the supports, I ended up breaking off the edges of the skull like these. I ended up just breaking them right off on there. Maybe they're supposed to break off. Whoop! So I broke it off of the one uh, that I printed with the other supports. It just uh, was pretty brittle, actually. So maybe it's not the support's fault exactly. So out of the two of the supports, the one that got printed upside down, I do like a lot better. I feel like even the edge around the top looks more professional. But because it didn't have supports on the inside, the one that got printed face up, the inside looks better. So I didn't have to break any supports off. So out of the one printed with supports upside down and the one printed upside down without supports, it's very close. I still need to clean these up a little. This one has more fraying on the inside just because it had nothing to hang on to. And this one has more jagged pieces that I haven't been able to pull out of the nose entirely yet. On the inside, the one that had the supports on it does look nicer than the one that didn't. But overall, considering having to tear supports off and that it was faster to not have supports and really the biggest difference is the inside, uh, a plant's going to be in there anyway. So I can chop those hairs off, put a plant in, and you really don't notice the difference. So when I first printed these out, I thought I was going to say... Yeah, I use the supports because it really supports everything, but I think it's going to depend on your print because I actually like the one without supports best. It was a little quicker and it's not too big a difference. Uh, 
However, I have tried making smaller prints of other things like the little chess pieces that I'm working on. And if I don't use supports, they completely fail because they have a horse head coming out, a dragon head. And if it doesn't have anything supporting it underneath, it just fails and the entire piece is like eight hours gone. Well, thanks for joining me today as we find out which type of supports or no supports and which orientation we print it at uh, comes out best, at least for these skull plant hangers. Again, I'll put the link to these in the description below. If you have any questions about these that I didn't answer that you're dying to know, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Other than that, have a great night, everyone. Great day. Whatever time of day you're watching this, have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye.